hate to go out in that. So actually, um, before we press on, I've had to go pee for like a while now, so since we're stuck anyway, I thought I'd... Oh my god, go in the corner then. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I know this is like way too much too soon for us right now, but I'm gonna totally explode. I'll force it out fast. I cannot at all believe you right now. Don't look at me. Be quieter. It's like louder than the rainstorm. I know the uh, acoustics are really carrying it. Sorry. Clarissa! Okay, that was definitely her. What is she? Is this just like a game to her or something? Clarissa, come back! We came to help you, don't... Ugh. You know, it just occurred to me, she could also be having like a Ren episode. A Renisode. Possessed, or whatever we want to call it. Or she's just being... It's not opening. Clarissa! The handprints are a macabre touch. Do you know who did that? Please tell me it's like a known thing teenagers here do or something. It's probably like children. They have such little hands. Yeah, little kids just making a mess of things. What was that? You... you heard that, right? High in the Cascade Mountains of Washington, the Navy opens the world's largest radio transmitter. Its one million watts can flash a message around the world in a tenth of a second. Hey, kids. Wanna play a game? Ah. God. Can you... can you believe this? No, I can't. Hangman? Be sharp and listen, mister. This is going to tell the classification board a lot about what can be expected of you in the future. How many questions will you be able to get in the allotted time? Like a test? Hey, why are we being tested? What did we do? Here's a simple one to start, so don't hold your breath. What is the name of the school you are standing in? School Ten. we're standing in? Nine. Isn't this like a... Uh, the school for armed services? Our friends are finding this tough. What did the communications officers at Fort Milner call codes? Who Ten. would know that? Nine. This isn't World you War. You call codes cookies? There. Now you're cooking. Coded radio transmitters have an important job, and you wouldn't want them to be unqualified. What does this have to We are an island race. And through all our times, the sea has ruled our breaks. Jonas, are, are you, uh, doing okay? One last round and you've cleared your exam. Pencil's ready. How many officers died in the sinking of the USS Canaloa? 
Ten. Nine. Eight. Eighty-five. Correct. Ninety-seven brave men and women died on the USS Canaloa. Eighty-five officers, twelve passengers. It all adds up to another fact for the classification board. Just another fact among many. States submarine Canaloa is shown for the first time in Pacific waters patrolling for the enemy. Pacific waters patrolling for the enemy. Through the periscope, the commander looks out over the ocean's surface. Canaloa was lost today, lost at sea near. Why are you here? Was it something we? Yes, yes, very good. This has been United News, and thank you for listening. This is just unbelievable. Anyone, can anyone just... That's gotta be Clarissa. Let's get her and get out of here. Or use her radio and get out of here, but let's just get out of here. Cross your fingers. Uh, Clarissa. Oh, well, look at this. The super twins decided to grace me with their presence. I thought maybe I wasn't good enough for a house call, doctor. Um, are you all right? I mean, yeah. Why? Yeah, sure, my hair might be a little weird, but there's not a lot I can do about that. You just sounded really distressed, that's all. Well, I mean, 
I don't know. I'm fine now, so. All right, where's this famous radio? I don't know. I can't get it to do anything I want. Alex, want to take a look at this? Yeah, no, this is... This is like a low-frequency thing. It, it's just meant for the base. It won't... I don't think it can beam out. <sighs> really? No, no, no. Isn't there a way... These officers who know your problems full and well will give you a friendly and sympathetic hearing. Who is that? Cross your fingers. Uh -huh. Clarissa! Is there anything like... Can we cut her down with some... <sighs> Clarissa? I would have swore she was in here. Clarissa? <sighs> oh, maybe this was the, the thing, the radio she was using. If we can get it to... I mean, she got it to kind of work, so... Clarissa? Oh, thank God, Clarissa. We saw... I saw you... Alex, don't worry. I will never forget that I am an American. I am freedom. Oh my God! For my Why would she do that? It's dedicated to the principles which make my country free. Why would she do that? We're 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 not. It's not like we're. She she was she was like possessed. I I, I just I, I just uh, this is Jonas. This is so horrible. I don't I don't even know what to. We. We should get to the others. I, I can't even imagine telling them, or or how to tell them. I'm. Just... I, I don't even know how I can tell her mom. I mean, we. She knows me. This can't. Oh God! And just the fact that I'm the one who who was here. And oh God. We'll we'll figure it out. This is unbelievable. Wow. Um, there's no way she got up from that, right? Like, there's no way. We both- Oh my- <gasps> Thank Christ, she's alive. Maybe she just- Maybe she just twisted her- Twisted something, or- Alex, even if she fell feet first, she would have broken every bone in her body. How- <sighs> Let's just get back to Ren at the comm tower. Maybe he's had better luck than us at anything. See how they're doing. Yeah. coming up from the tower. The Dick Tower. I think you mean Harden Tower. Please don't ruin that for me. It's all I have left. How are you? Um, still holding all your parts together? Emotionally? Um, kinda. Some things are slipping the rotors a little, but, you know, whatever. Any luck contacting somebody? 
Nope, no luck to speak of. And honestly, I thought this week was gonna be a big karma dump. Okay, Ren, how have you tried? And have you tried it more than once? Hey, we've tried. The stupid radio's been what my therapist would call a negative reinforcer. Just won't work right. Just, I'm so glad I took that second brownie. What? It's kind of, you know, it's just about to start doing Wait, it. Wait, second brownie? Ren, please tell me this is a joke, okay? This is a joke, right? Mmm, why would this be a joke? I'm not joking. Wait, you're not messing with us? You seriously took another one? It was like, it was like half of one, all right? It's just to level me out. It'll, it'll bring me back up. That's what it does. Uh, Down, fine. If that's what it takes to up. get you through the night, then okay. Great. I don't need it. I just needed it now. Oh, God. This thing doesn't work. Not getting anything? I'm getting something, but it's like, I don't know. Hey, Nona. Night's still going, huh? We heard you on the uh, speaker system. You got that working? That's about all I got working. Uh, sorry, I was like, weird earlier. But, hey, have you figured out what's going on yet? You have to know something. You've been like, it's been ghosts. Nona, ghosts are going on. The blackouts, the hallucinations, it's all been ghosts. Ghosts? Really? Yeah, and it would really help if you could just jump to the believing us part. It would save a headache. Oh! Oh, I got it! This is great! This is perfect! I know exactly what to do. Do you? Yeah, totally! It's Maggie Adler. Maggie Adler? Yeah, she has a boat. Had a boat. I mean... Her house, manor, or whatever it is, is behind a huge gate. You can see it coming up here from Main Street. No, I know, but the keys to it are here, somewhat readily available. My sister, Allie, worked at the park's office in town. She had to deliver that old woman her mail every day. I know that they have the key. Okay, so... No, no, gonna... no, we are not. We are not going to go with the plan. The first plan put forth by the group's resident, Burnout. Hey, come on. I'm not a Burnout. Okay, Well, so... and I'm not saying it's the best plan, but... What other plan is there, really, Jonas? Oh, I don't know. Fix the radio, find Clarissa, set fire to the mug shop. And these are just off the top of my head. Yeah, I'm still worried about Clarissa. But we don't know where Clarissa is. I'm not saying literally do that. I'm just... There's other things we can do. <laughs> but there isn't. Ren, understand it is completely your fault that we're in this to begin with. What? And now you want us to trust you when things are really bad? You had Alex bring the radio. You brought us here. Come on, Jonas, this is nobody's fault. Ghosts are never anybody's fault, certainly not ours. Yeah, guys, this isn't really a productive. It should be obvious to even the cheap seats that you're the only new weirdo who throws this whole social harmony thing we got going on out of whack. I mean, we all grew up with each other. Alex knows she can trust me. Guys, you know there's no television cameras here, right? Take the energy down a notch. Alex, I am not putting my life in his hands. This whole thing has been a complete joke to this guy. I, I can't believe you're even kind of defending him. Jonas. The stories I heard about this guy, he's a maniac, okay? He's gonna trash our only legitimate means of getting out of here if you buy into this crap. Legitimate means? What are you even talking about? You have no- Guys, stop it. Stop. The collective neuroses call a truce, okay? Yes, please. Look. I don't care what Caveman Jonas says. <laughs> there is, is a that? boat at Maggie Adler's house. And the key to her house is back on Main Street. And the backup plan for when this thing fails spectacularly is two of us have to stay here by the semi-functioning walkie-talkie. Fine by me. Alex has the radio. Are you okay to go into town? Not that you... Not, not that you wouldn't be okay. Honestly? Anything to get me off this tower and away from this specific configuration of yelling people would do wonders for me right now. She shouldn't... You shouldn't go alone. We don't need, like, three of us up here. Yeah, I'll totally go. It's my, like, brilliant idea or whatever. Are you kidding? Your food is gonna start kicking in any second. Beyond that, you're a completely unreliable basket case. 
I am not a basket case. You are. Just shut up, both of you. Sorry. Okay, keeping in mind who you've been able to depend on the whole night. Yes, keeping in mind who you're tired of. Keeping in mind who's taller, who do you want coming with you? Yeah, your oldest pal. Oh my god. Or your new psycho stepbrother. All right, she doesn't want to hurt anyone's feelings. It's fine. Let's just go. What? You've got to be... This is... Are you... You're... No, this isn't hap... This isn't happening. Him? Him. Him? Rin, come on. It'll be fine. We'll watch the walkie-talkie. Alex? Just... <sighs> just fine. Whatever. Have fun, you two. This isn't fun. That's the point. Oh, God. Will you just shut up? Okay. Before things get stupid again, good luck with the whole key thing. We'll be waiting, guys. Okay, look, I'm gonna say I'm sorry now for what happened up there, but I do not want you to take it as an admission of guilt. That distinction is important, because I don't think anything that I said was that awful. You, like, completely lost it up there. And for no reason, either. I mean, we should be, like, in this together. I know, I know, I I'm sorry. I didn't mean to blow up. Look, I... Uh, and I just want to clear the air, too. Just so Ren or whoever can't use it as ammo against me, but... You might have heard that I, uh, went to jail at some point. I never went to jail, but I did beat up a guy and get sent to juvenile detention for it. And I just wanted you to know so it wasn't like a thing hanging over your head or anything. And I just wanted you to know so it... Just... My mom got sick, and then she got real sick, and then this kid, Timmy Finster, threw a baseball at my head, and yes, he was joking, but... I don't know, I just pop. Yeah, it was as stupid as it sounds. And I'm not gonna defend myself. What happened to the other guy? Hospitalized? Not for a while, but, you know, I tried to visit him after I got out, but he wouldn't see me. My mom found out, of course, and I never really squared it with her in a way that, I don't know, things never really work out the way you want, you know? But, whatever. Are you... are you okay? It's not like I'm sick or whatever, I'm fine. I'm not gonna say I'm a good guy, Alex, but I'm trying to be.